yeah, it takes a lot to be creative nowadays. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of competition. Yes. It creates because everybody's a star, right? Everybody's got their own, their own TikTok account, their own, you know, their own social media, you know, trying to be an influencer, their own YouTube channel, like me. This is a reality show called Riding with Willie, and I've been interviewing you, McKenna, oh. for the show. Oh, nice. Is it cool if I share your story? All right, I have a passenger named McKenna. Let's see where McKenna's heading to today. I think it's the airport. Were you visiting? Just uh Oh, I live here. I'm, you live here, so you're off. Well, yeah, spring break. Good for you. <laughs> Student at Belmont or Vandy? Uh, Vandy. Excited to go home? Yes, I am. <laughs> Is that where you're going? I, I yeah. presume that you're going home. Yeah. yeah. To my parents' house. Where's that? What part Charlotte, of Charlotte? North it's Carolina. a nice, yeah, it's a beautiful city. Yeah, I like it. It's really grown. Yes, it has. Financial capital of the South. Is it? Yes. That's a leading industry in Charlotte. I... Here, what would you guess it is in Nashville? Um... The leading industry. Music. <laughs> That's what everybody presumes. It's, it or is it... Top of everybody's list. It's actually healthcare. Okay. It's either, yeah, it was either healthcare or that because yep. Vanderbilt Health is really good. For a long time, it was publishing. Publishing. Christian book, but more Bibles used to be printed in Nashville than mm. anywhere else. That was part of the old history. It is the Bible Belt. Yes, you are correct. So what are you studying, young lady? Ah, nuclear physics. I'm a grad Ooh. student. <laughs> yeah, hoity toy. But yeah. this, this is my last spring break because I don't have any more classes after this, which means I'll be like fully working. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. So you already got a gig? Uh, yeah, research is essentially the the working for me, at least. Is that, that you, you enjoy doing the research? Yeah, it's it's the fun part. The classes is not the fun part. <laughs> yes. Yeah, good for you. That's awesome. So what, uh, what made you want to become a nuclear physicist? Well, I have first wanted to do something with space, but then I really got interested in nuclear physics in my undergrad because I was looking for a research group and those were the only ones that had the openings, but then I actually really liked it. So then I just decided to go into that. <laughs> so what made you, was there a particular professor or somebody that, made, that, that engaged you and made you fond of it or was it just the, the, yeah. the subject itself? I would say it's both because I had a really good mentor and then I also... Who was that? Uh, his name was Dr. Albert Young. And Dr. Albert Young. a low energy nuclear physicist. So he sort of inspired you? Yeah. Did you get a chance to work with him? I did. Do research did. for him? I joined his research group and worked with... Uh, my undergrad was North Carolina State University but it's part of the Triangles um, the triangle being like Chapel Hill, Duke, and NC State. So I worked with Duke a lot for. Um, you can't do that because you guys compete. Well, how do you do that? I. I'm being facetious. What? Yeah, I mean, like. Yeah. I didn't really like. I'm. You can't be friendly when it comes to basketball. Not right? basketball, of course. Football. I'm. A yeah, little bit yeah, I get it. I, that's why I said basketball when you yeah, mentioned yeah. Duke and all that. Yeah. NC State. Look. But yeah, I, I worked with them for a little bit and they have a nuclear lab down there too. But it's exciting. So you're going to be uh, putting on the lab coat soon. And uh, I don't want to be a professor. I know that. You know what to teach. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, teaching is fine. I have to do it for like my TA job because that's how I get my tuition paid for here. 
Uh, so you want to help make these doctors famous with their publications. You don't want to be published yourself. You just want to do the work, right? It, it, it is the pre-med students, though. Like, that's who I'm teaching. <laughs> okay. So, uh... So space is not on the radar right now. Well, it depends. Um, a lot of nuclear physics can be used for like research for the early universe stuff um, and just general things in the universe, like neutron stars. That's like purely nuclear physics. It's like just like really like dense star made of just neutrons. That's now I gotta ask this because acorns usually don't fall far from the tree. What do your parents do? My dad is a financial advisor. My mom totally different. Wasn't, okay, was she was an accountant? I think. So they were she they were mutual funds in her way, but yeah, financial yeah they were in fin economics, <laughs> finance. Okay, yeah. My sister was also in finance. <laughs> so you're the you're the uh, you're the uh, the odd yeah <laughs> odd kid out, right? Yeah. Okay. You were watching Dexter's Laboratory when you were... You know, I, did. I okay. did. I know you did. <laughs> I also have a daughter named McKenna. I love the name. Oh, so yeah. our youngest is named McKenna. She's 22. Oh, yeah. I'm 24. <laughs> yep. Yep. Our baby girl. She wants to be a literary agent. She's a writer. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'm really She's creative. Too. Very creative. Yeah, it takes a lot to be creative nowadays. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of competition. Yes. They create because everybody's a star, right? Everybody's got their own their own TikTok account, their own, you know, their own social media, you know, trying to be an influencer, their own YouTube channel, like me. This is a reality show called Riding with Willie, and I've been interviewing you, McKenna. Oh. For the show. Oh nice. Is it cool if I share your story? Sure, that's fine. That's awesome. I'll look it up later. That's awesome. Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm out today fishing for stories, yeah, and great. I was hoping you would have a great story. That's neat. Yeah. So you graduate like in a few weeks, right? Well, not too far off. I'm well, going for a PhD. Oh, so doctor, I do, doctor. Uh, I get my master's within a few weeks. It's a qualifying exam kind of okay. thing. Okay. Like so, but you'll under. work as you work. You'll be. Yeah. Accruing credits and different, yeah, yeah for you. And will you be doing your research at, in private or a university? So, or I'm in conjunction. working with, like, I work for the university, but I'm technically working for a collaboration that is part of the Department of Energy, like the United States Department of Energy. So you got to get clearance. You already uh, have it, right? I. I do have clearance for some things, but there's a lot of training that goes into it. It's not like government secrets or anything. It's just like scientific secrets. Like, yeah, because I don't want you to anything. tell anything that's going to make the men in black show up and tap me, all right? Just don't tell me any of that stuff. I don't yeah. want to know. Most of the stuff that I know is just public information. The only thing that is secret is just the analysis that we do. Now, do you, are you going to remain in Nashville or are you going to go somewhere else? Well... It's Where are you going to do your doctor work here, Bandy? Yeah, I'm. It's just like one big, like one program. So I get my master's along with my PhD. Um, essentially, that's what the qualifying exam is for. It's just like there's your two years. Now you're qualified to get funded by your advisor, and then you can continue on with research. All right, young lady, you are here. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm.